Hello, hello. So I was thinking maybe I should wear new clothes, change the top, but I'm literally just sitting and pushing the stop button and then just picking up a new bear that needs clothes. So you know what? It's fine. I'm working from home. No one's going to judge me. I mean, I wouldn't wear like shorts here. So, you know, but, but, but first things first, I will teach you how to wear chima. So, um, chima has very, like, various styles, like, some of them are just literally, um, kind of open, so you just kind of use it as a wrap skirt, some of them are kind of all attached and wear it almost as a vest, like, the vest-like structure will hold the chima together, and it's all kind of like empire line, so, like, right above your bosoms, they will have, like, little structure here and then just you know you kind of like wear like regular i guess um skirts from like i don't know like napoleon era i guess but this construction i made it's kind of a mixture of both so it doesn't have like a vest like structure on top but it is definitely closed so it will not open it to, you know from behind but you can still kind of know the gist of it. So, here's a bear. This opening, this opening goes to the middle of the back. So, bear, bear. Skirt, skirt. Bear. Okay. All right. Arm. Boop. Other arm. Ugh. And while your bear is resting in your arms, <sighs> adjust it. Okay, so it's simple. You kind of make a little ooh, knot ish. Boop. Turn the bear. Hello! Oh, oh, that was terrible. But yes, put it in the middle, turn it, and then kind of. Go to the middle, again. You can make little like hanbok korum to it, but you don't really have to. Just make, have a simple, eh, little like half knot again. And then, same as the pants. Just go around, hide it. Well, you can even like put it inside of the skirt inside of the structure so there there should be nothing dangling i mean um contemporary way of wearing it sometimes they have this um quorum of your chima like a bow part of your skirt more decorative so they encourage you to actually have it shown um before you wear your top but this is purely functional and this particular construction. If I wanted to have it more um, decorative, then I would have chose different fabric. So there's a tip for you guys. If you guys want to make really um, like decorative elements, you can add different parts at the end of like, you know, your arm openings or even very um, kind of beautiful, decorative, very like, um, delicate and elaborate piece of fabric around the neck like the collar part you can definitely do that but not for this bear so chima's done skirt it's done again and you put shirt on top wow 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 <laughs> and and woman's shirt is definitely shorter. So a lot of times um, the designs might be even shorter. So it, like arm opening almost like, almost the arm opening length just goes across the top and the top structure of the chima can be also decorative. So instead of having just gray here, sometimes people put like gold foiled silk, something like that, or like, embroidered piece of silk and then have it I don't know like more expressive in traditional way but 
not today. So again, shirt, put this part down because this is a shorter dongjong, dongjong, gorum. And then put this part on top. So the longer one is kind of hanging. All right. And what did I kill last time? Short one goes on top. Uh, the long one and short one actually pulled up 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 rest for a bit make little half bow get down can you see it can you see it like there we go all right oh colors off but you get the idea so there we have it how to wear oh oh my lord okay clean 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 okay here you have it how to dress your bears up or dress yourself up in humble yay thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions if you want slow-mo video of this whole instruction just let me know thank you so much for watching